What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Justin Davis of The Camps. Today we're going to check out the Splash Drone 4. This is from Swell Pro. It is an updated version. It is salt waterproof. This is one of the only drones in the world that you can fly and land in salt water. You can fly it through a wave, splash down, flip upside down, hit a button on the transmitter and this thing flips itself back over in the water. It's pretty cool. I'm going to show you that. It also has a newly updated battery on here that flies around 30 minutes. We've got a bait release mechanism on the very bottom. One button, if you hold it on the transmitter, it releases your hook. So you can take, I mean, you could probably fly a six pack of beer on this one and drop beers off to your buddies because it will lift a lot of weight. Guys were asking me years before, will it lift a 12 ounce sinker? Absolutely, maybe 60 ounces. This thing is a big drone. It's large and in charge. But the cool thing is that it does have GPS return to home on here. It has dynamic return to home, which means it'll return to the transmitter itself, which is kind of cool. It'll also fly off the side of the paddleboard. I just toss it off the side of the paddleboard in the water, take off when it gets a little bit away from me. If you were on a boat, same thing. You just toss this off the side. Even the transmitter itself is also waterproof. So if you drop it in the drink, no problem. It's not like a DJI Mavic Air or something like that, a Mavic Pro. If you hit the water with that, it's done. But this company is one of the biggest ones in the world that produce waterproof drones with multiple attachments. You can fly a 4K 3-axis gimbal on here, which I have today. We're gonna to show you both of these mechanisms on here, and we're gonna see if it's worth the money. Is it worth the money for the Splash Drone 4? You're about to find out. Let's go ahead and get started flying it. Do a little demo and splash down and some boat mode. We're also gonna fly it in boat mode. Yeah, it actually has boat mode. Go figure. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead in GPS mode and turn around and let's do some flying out over the river here. You guys can see the controller here. I've got GPS attitude mode, which takes off GPS and I also have on the left side gear up, gear down, auto. We have normal smooth flying, follow me, which is super cool. If you're on a paddleboard, we'll give that a shot today too. And return to home, we can test that out. It's super stable. We could just go up a little bit here. It shows me my distance from the home point. It shows me how fast I'm moving, meters per second. Right now, 1.9 meters per second. The height is about 31 meters and distance from home is 164 meters. Just cruising. What a beautiful day. And again, you can go a little bit faster if you want to in that Addy mode. But I just like cruising in GPS. It's kind of nice. Just cruising along. Beautiful scenery. So we're just going to go ahead and do a pan this direction. Looks like the sun is going this direction a little nicer. Wow, look at that. That's a pretty picture right there. That's beautiful. Willamette River. Absolutely gorgeous out there today. Height's around 99 meters. You can change that to Imperial in the app, which is pretty cool. And it seems like the transmission's working better on this one. It does say it has a further distance. This time we have a 30 minute flight time, which is awesome. I've got 10 satellites on the load up and it looks like I have about 14.5 volt so I do have some battery left here just cruising and if we want to get a little faster down the river let's go ahead and switch into Addy mode and if you lose signal you can always hit return to home and that's on this button right here follow me here we've got gimbal mode we've got a payload release switch right down here which is cool normal and smooth filming and we can also change that on the other side, positive. Pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna put it back into GPS mode. And so now we're gonna test out return to home. And it is coming back. You can also opt out of return to home at any time. And let's just see if it lets us turn the yaw. That's pretty cool. So now we're coming back and we're moving about 0.1 meters per second. It's actually moving pretty slow. So I went ahead and opted out of the return to home. Now I just want to cruise again, you know? Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. 
this is great for anybody who likes to be around the water doesn't have to worry about the drone falling in the water it's just great I've had DJI Mavics I've had the Mavic Mini I've had the Mavic Pro the Phantom 4 all those drones and I've had all the series of splash drones so this is the fourth one which is a little bit different quite a bit different than the other one has a newly designed battery for other range 30 minute flight time just gorgeous look at that home down there let's just stop for a minute and spy on this home the ultimate spy drone looks like Michael Jordan's house on the river maybe just gorgeous we won't fly over top of them of course to respect them as always back this direction let's just come back over here and plop down in the water what do you guys think you want to see some more water flying here and we're just gonna come back over here I'm gonna bring the gimbal up and I'm gonna hit return to home because I want to see it come over here and avoid these trees next to me no one's on the beach right now so we'll give that a shot long press return to home and it'll start to beep and you can see that landing gear spun around what a nice day. A little bit hazy out there. Just a little bit smoky today. There's a lot of fires in California and stuff, so. Okay, here comes the drone. Let's go ahead and point that gimbal down where our landing spot is. And there we are. There's our spot. We're going to come down now. So right now, hands off the sticks. So now it's coming down. And normally these drones will land, and any drone with GPS should land in a 10 foot perimeter. And we don't have much room for error right here. We have trees on this side and on this side. I've got my camera gear there, some trees that's gonna take us out if we get into those. So I'm gonna really pay attention to this line of sight when it comes in and make sure there's no people or dogs or animals around. First thing that you want to avoid while flying a drone this size, because this drone is no joke, it is a big, big drone but if you're gonna go out paddle boarding all you have to do is take it out on the paddle board turn it on and throw it off the side of your paddle board take off out of the water and land back in the water that's kind of cool years past I've landed and took off from the paddle board over there so now I can take off beside the paddle board and not have the drone near me so here it comes looks like it's gonna land right in this vicinity so I'm just gonna watch myself here I did calibrate the compass before takeoff man it has a lot of wind underneath here a lot of wind that is pretty cool so I'm bring the gimbal up before it touches down and let's see if it turns off the motors by itself hands off that's awesome so it does indeed turn the motors off that is so cool that is really a lot of fun what a solid drone <laughs> That's awesome. So let's take it out on the water with the paddle. All right, guys, if you want to fly this off the paddle board, the best way to do it is just turn it on. And you could sit here and calibrate the compass with the props off. Go ahead and let it initialize for a second. Throw it off the side of your paddle board. So this is the back of the drone, and I can go ahead and take off. Just wants to come straight up. So I'm going to go straight up, and then I'm going to yaw around. And we're going to try out follow me mode. Let's see if it goes into follow me mode. Yep, check. Live on the Willamette River. Hopefully I said that right. Willamette, right, you guys? You Oregon natives. You can take this drone out in salt water, too. I have to mention that. Like, this review, I want it to be out on fresh water. But you can take these motors out into the salt water, submerge them. You can fly this through a wave and it will ride itself and come back up out of the water. The water will not corrode this drone. Everything has been coated with a special coating to save it from saltwater corrosion. That's perfect for people that are on charter boats, anglers, whatever. You guys, this is the, like the perfect drone for that. Watch when I'm in Addy and I, and I switch in the GPS. Watch what it does. It'll just automatically stop and hold its position. I'm going to go back a little bit, give myself some space. Cool. Checking my river around me. I don't see anybody coming, so I'm going to go ahead and paddle over to where I would like to fish, which is over by the edge of the water, right? So let's just put it into follow me real quick, just for funsies, because you know what? I don't feel like flying this thing, so. Oh yeah. Nice and close to the water. 
Yeah, it seems to be moving across the water pretty slow. I wonder if it'll catch up with us. What do you guys think? That is pretty cool. I've never really been out on a paddleboard and just like chilling with a drone. How freaking cool is that? Live on YouTube. Let's go. Beautiful river and you know what? It looks pretty clear right here and there's kind of like a little bit of a plant forest down here. I think we should bring it over here and see if we can see any fish down here. There we go. And let's let the water clear out for a second. We'll bring the gimbal down. I swear there was a really cool little plant forest down there, you guys. Thanks for adventuring with me, you guys. If you want to get in on our giveaway, we're giving away a 4K three-axis gimbal, little miniature drone at 200, under 250 grams. It's the X8 Femi Mini. Super cool. Yeah, all you have to do is subscribe on my channel, make a comment on this video, and send us an email on dronecamps.com on the contact page. Did I find treasure? That's pretty cool. That is really cool. Now you can see the kind of the algae down there. And let's go ahead and take off again before we get into a return to home status. I'm going to do the auto takeoff this time, guys. Slide to land. No. Okay. Take off. Coming up out of the water. I, I didn't really do an auto. I mean, I didn't really do a automatic takeoff that time. I put some throttle into it. So I'm just going to cruise back over here closer to where the bridge is over here and there's some rocks and stuff over here we can go check out. But that is a lot of fun you guys. If you want to take this out on a boat, again throw it off the side of the boat, let it load a home point and it'll fly back to that home point or you can have a dynamic home point so it'll fly back to the transmitter. If you wanted to try to catch this thing, I wouldn't really recommend it but you could grab it by the landing gear. It looks like it might be wobbly, too wobbly to grab, but maybe with two hands, but I wouldn't try it. But I'm going to go ahead and stop to follow me. <laughs> kind of sunk for a minute there. So now we're going to ride it. Very nice. Let's see if it'll take off by itself. Nope. We'll arm it again. That was a pretty good hit. And I'm just going to full frontal, like, crash it in the water. Like, full stick forward right here. And down in the water. Hopefully, we won't hit a rock. Boom. Big splash. It, like, momentarily sunk. There it is. Okay, let's go ahead and down into the center. And it should right itself. So cool. It only uses one side of the propellers to do that. So now I can press down and center again and take off again see a little something down there it's kind of cool there is like a plant forest over here somewhere that i would love to be able to film but isn't that neat 4k video underwater it also has a thing called boat mode and you could just kind of cruise along and film underwater reefs or fish or if you're trying to use it for like a fish finder to see just kind of what's down here i know there's smallmouth bass out here and it does have a little type of bait release mechanism and it, I, I'm pretty sure this thing would just about carry a six pack of beer. It's a pretty big drone. Take a beer to all your buddies down the beach. Let's go ahead and take off again out of the water. I'll show you what the camera looks like coming up out of the water. And there we are. That's pretty cool. All right, let's get Swell Pro Splash Drone 4 out of the water, you guys. That was freaking cool. That was a lot of fun. So I'm going to spin it around. Just turn off the battery. Press once and hold again. And you'll see that little light goes out. And the transmitter is disconnected. So now we are going to paddle back to the dock. You know, I always do honest reviews on the channel so you guys can... Check out the link down below and grab one. I would highly recommend it because it is a freaking blast to fly and has a lot of options. So anyway guys, thanks again for watching my channel. Please do click subscribe and the notification bell when the new videos are coming out. I'm Justin Davis. I will see you on the next one guys. Take care. Peace out. Cut. I like it. Cut.